The Duke and Duchess of Cornwall have spent the night in Papua New Guinea after touching down on the island nation as part of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Tour. It's the Prince's first visit to the country in nearly two decades. For hours they waited in the baking heat, keen to get a glimpse of the future King. Prince Charles and his entourage touched down just before sunset. As the door of the Royal Australian Air Force jet swung open, the Prince and Duchess stepped into a wave of 32 degree heat. The royal couple smiling and relaxed as they received the traditional garland of flowers. It's been 18 years since Prince Charles last visited PNG. As Commander-in-Chief of the Pacific Island Regiment, he asked the local boss of the Defence Force about the unit he favours most. Where's the second battalion? Up north. They will remain there. With police helicopters circling overhead, the Prince inspected the honour guard, occasionally pausing to ask soldiers about their careers following close behind the Duchess in a lightweight printed dress. It's believed Camilla has an aversion to humidity and spent time at a spa in India preparing for the tour through the tropics. The Prince has made it clear that he doesn't want his visit to be dominated by meetings with dignitaries or official engagements. He intends to spend every waking moment out amongst the people. The Prince directing his driver to cruise slowly from the airport. A thank you gesture for the thousands who sweltered, waiting for a peep at the couple and the chance of a royal way. <laughs> the Prince and Duchess will spend hours in the sun today with an itinerary that has them crisscrossing Port Moresby. The colours of the empire flying from every lamppost, honouring the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. In Port Moresby, Darren Curtis, Nine News.